We appreciate all of the support from you guys, and we are working very hard on the next drop. The Pursue Your Dreams tee will only be available for a few more days, so be sure to go to campfold.com today and get your order. Yep, uh, he's touring, basically lecturing at universities. Obviously, there's significant backlash. Put up one of the promotions. Look at that. Oh, okay. He's famous recap. because he shot people. Wow. Okay, hold on. Hold Where on, Atlanta Blacks? I actually don't know what happened in that situation. Someone explain that to me. Oh, I remember. Uh, I think pulled, he crossed. He pulled up to a protest. Died, pulled up to a protest and he shot three people. I think one of them was like a sex offender, and one of them was he like hit three bad people. That's well, insane. they attacked him. They though. attacked him. Yeah, that's what I remember. Oh, but they I pulled remember, a gun on them. Okay, yeah, so he, he was at a protest. Him. Some people attacked him, and then he retired. Well, he was there retired. with an AR-15 though. Walking yeah, around can, with an AR-15. Oh, like he was security or something. Yeah, nah, he was just. I don't know why he was. He's trying to protect the. Land, but technically, he, he got because he got away with it because the people did attack him and pulled a gun on him first, and then he shot them. And then so some people think he's a hero, basically. But yeah, some people was mad because I think he crossed I state guess. lines to do that. Yeah, he did. He came. Oh, he, he went okay. from a whole nother state. Oh. That is weird. Okay, okay. He's very okay. controversial. Yeah, say that he's famous because he shot people. Wow. Where Atlanta Black Star, Cal Rittenhouse. Has colleges asking him to speak, to lecture. About it continues to draw heavy opposition from campus communities. The organization behind Rittenhouse and his speaking tour, none other than Turning Point USA. Who else? Turning Point USA <laughs> calls it the Rittenhouse Recap. And the tour hmm. is set to take place at the University of Memphis and so a lot of Republicans are supporting this guy. Yes. Yeah, because it's. I think it's like the guns. Okay. I don't know. Because he really was trying to stop the riot. Why. Remember? What was, was the riot? Well, which riot was that? The BLM when they was what burning was out. Yeah, was it that? Was, was it around that time? It was around that time. This guy is. Because it was. Oh, they was burning story for sure. I remember they was burning the city. I didn't he, know he was that old. So he I'm did that in a Black Lives Matter protest. Yes, they was burning the cities, and I think you're 100 percent sure. If I I'm corrected, but I remember that's when. And he was like, he didn't want nobody to burn the, the businesses. That's I mean, what I remember. You know, that might be true, honestly. Because that's why even honest there. opinion, though, like, I don't know if that's a good look for Turning Point USA. Because, like, why? What is the recap? Like, why are they featuring a guy that shot people? But, like, what was his, like, I what's guess, his story? Like, what's the good out of this, you know? I don't know. All right, let's, let's, let's continue, man. Turning Point USA calls it the Written House Recap. And the tour is set to take place at the University of Memphis and Western Kentucky University this month. You know what you're doing. You, out of everybody that you could have brought here, you picked Kyle Rittenhouse, someone who's a murderer, who has this, he's the face of violence in our country. A few moments later. Can we pause that? What what are it, they what are they saying? It's sad Kyle that they, is a killer. He's the face of violence, but Memphis is the number one murder capital right now. That's what makes it. There's, there's always selective yeah. outrage. That's crazy. Yeah, it is definitely. Yeah, this one I just don't know what who had side to be on on this. I, thing, I, I don't I'm know not any on either side on this one. I'm not, but yeah. it is confusing as to why. Like I see why the where I, confusion comes from is why is he speaking? Yeah, I don't. But see I wouldn't the purpose. go protest against it. Me, but we might I need to watch know. a documentary. I, just, I don't see the purpose of him coming to the school and speak like what the hell do you let's look it up we why need, do people do like Kyle say? Rittenhouse you need an interview or something uh, I'm confused too but he was just trying to protect American businesses that's probably how people looked at it but he crossed the state lines to do that though but I mean and the people they attacked being, him though oh, oh so well, that, that, like, that does change a lot of things though they attacked yeah, him see. first and then he was and out of self defense, he protected. Okay, himself. it says why it uh, divides the U.S., but I don't. Okay, it doesn't really. Yeah, I have to click. We'll have to do a little bit of research out yeah, there. Yeah, I'm really. That was before we were really, you know. Y'all tell us in the comments. Y'all know y'all gonna cook us. They not. Murder who has this? He's the face of violence in our country. A few moments later. <laughs> Yeah. 
Look at this. Look, oh, what shit. is that? That's an you see me? Oh my god. Look at me. I'm standing on you. It's okay. Hey, look at him spitting on you. Oh, that's Colin. Keep going, Tanner. Don't stop. That's me. Dang, they hand him that bad. Light the fuck up. This is very. This is like, who is that in the car? That's his car. Cow. Look at these people. What an interesting outfit. Oh my god, they can see me. Tanner, can they see me? No, just stay down there. Good, stay down. Yeah, why do you This is a bit <laughs> one. This is a, this is absolutely. <laughs> this is not the way. Why do you go about things, bro? Why? I don't really see the problem here. I mean, they're allowed to protest. No, yeah, no, I definitely. I don't think. Hey, they have a right for your freedom of speech or whatever you believe. You yeah, know, yeah, you as long as you're not yeah, destructing property. You have a right like to that. protest. I don't understand why the school thought it was a good idea to let him even come speak there. I understand, I don't either. like he's in Tennessee. I mean, yeah, I mean, I get it, but like, what, what, what? What is his purpose? What does the you know, purpose of letting him speak there? I mean, yeah, yeah, and I mean, we probably got to yeah, have I'm an interview. I'm not sure about that. We probably got. Got, we probably got. To but watch our interview, I don't bro. see why the like. I don't know, man. It says. It says he. He shot three people, and they happened to be pedophiles and wife beaters. Two pedos and a wife beater. Well, we I, I, I'm okay with two pedos getting knocked off. So, uh, what's the last one? Yeah, he uh, uh, a wife beater. He's beating his wife. Also, um, oh. also, um, the people he shot were white. Oh, oh for real? Yes. All, all three of them? Yes. Yeah. And, I, I think I knew that. And it says they were at a Jacob Blake protest. He was a guy that was killed by police brutality. And uh, yeah, uh, Kyle Rittenhouse had all the charges dropped against him for self defense. They, I, they, they, I, said, I was I was reading it. It says the first dude he shot charged at him and tried to grab his gun. Yeah, okay, well, that. yeah, he has to die. So two pedos. But, one wife beater. But I just don't see, especially the fact that he killed white people. Why would Black Lives Matter be out here chanting against that? I guess because it, it was at, at their right. protest. Yeah, yeah. The second and it's dude, at their school probably. The These second dude, it says, it says he thought Kyle Rittenhouse was an active shooter. Tried to hit him with a shape skateboard. Hit him twice. The first blow and didn't he was bring the him wife. down. He was probably the wife beater. And right? Rittenhouse, no, he was Ritt the pedo. brother. Let me damn read it. Damn it. All right, all right. <laughs> Rittenhouse shot him one time and killed him. The first dude got shot at four times. Doesn't say if he was a. Uh, it says they both two dudes had bipolar disorder. It says the the second dude went to jail, went to prison twice. First for violating probation and after strangling his brother and kicking his sister. Well, so that's he, all I need to he hear. He must be the beater. The first dude must be one of the pedophiles. That's all I need to Hold hear. Hold on. So okay. And so the second one, uh, the third one was shot. They deserve to go. You a pedo? Two pedos? They deserve to go, buddy. Well, I ain't gonna lie. I remember Not when they had it. When they had his. I remember they said he was just raining fire on on the on the, the, the first dude the got right. shot, the first dude got shot four times. Second dude got shot once. Try to hit Kyle with the they skateboard. Said, the third one had a pistol. Knowing their background and knowing you know yeah, just knowing their background actually. Says he shot. Kyle's right. good with me. Oh wow. They attacked him. I Pedos. I want Pedos. I, okay, I think I see why people. Uh, I think I see why people. Hey, if it was like two Kyle Rittenhouse. Yeah, tell me. People like it because he, well, according to the research, the quick research I just did, it says people like him because he represents the Second Amendment and self defense. He did. He did kill one person. The first, the, the other two people survived. It says the third dude lost ninety percent of his bicep after being shot, but he had a gun as well and believed he was an active shooter. See, I don't know, man. I'm just like kind of <laughs> lost. Like, well, what's what? I, I understand. Like, this is a controversial topic. Yeah, I mean, oh, this... he shot two riders dead. Two. two Two of the people who shot died. Um, yeah, but uh, uh, I'm kind of lost. Like, I understand. Like, yes, they were rioting for a cause. I don't think riot that was gonna give you any positive feedback. You're gonna destroy a bunch of shit and want something to change positively. Not very smart, in my opinion. Uh, but uh, I understand this is a controversial guy. I don't understand why bringing him to a college was necessary. Yeah, that's but, that, uh, that's a different. We need to figure out if Kyle was right or wrong. I guess that's kind of like well, he was to decide, yeah. But uh, I did not really decide what I need to decide. You didn't see this other Kyle's I've, good with me. I've no, I, I didn't think what he did. I saw the video. I remember in the, before I was even like even leaning right at all. That was before I was political. I remember watching the video with Obi. At his house, and we were like, "Yeah, they did attack him." Like, it, I remember thinking, "Like, so yeah, they, it was self defense." But even with that being said, I don't see why he speaks at colleges. But I would like to know. But I do think that what he did was self defense. Let's leave it at that. Uh, I, what I was gonna say, um, 
No, nah, yeah. So if it was self defense, I mean, it's it's all clear from there. Some people from the say jump. it wasn't, and then and no, it would have been different. That's what I was thinking. That he accidentally just opened fire at maybe someone he knew was a pedo or a pedo, and he hit nah, the pedo. It wasn't nothing to do and with the pedo. It would have been like okay, you know. Then it would have been like okay, he definitely deserves some time for that. But if they attacked him, I remember he's the good. problem everybody was having that he took a AR across state lines but to look, though, show up to that. I know, no, I'm not just saying. What that's makes why it everybody, even more good? That does look bad. That's why. People, was, that's why people was that's why people was extra green. So they attacked him. He fired. He uses a uh, uh, well, Second Amendment. Then there were pedos and a wife beater. That makes it extra good. Extra green. Cows green to me. Damn. <laughs> and the fact that black people are protesting to people that got shot that weren't even black. That's what's actually crazy to me, bro. I understand that, that this is at their school, but like. I don't understand the whole Black Lives it's, Matter. It's just too much. Like it's no, too no, no black person was killed. Why go protest? And they would just never don't go do to this. the event. They just would never do this. Like when we have, you know. We're not going to talk about how there's a lot of black on black crime and they this never happens. Memphis. This is Memphis. This, this, this is, this is the fucking like capital. Well, no, I know, right but now. You, you, you never see this. It could be a, a black dude who go out there and kill three, four black people and they wouldn't do this. Yeah, I'm just kind of lost on like. <laughs> that I, is true. That I, is true. I, I, I don't yeah. really understand the purpose of bringing him to the campus and like I can kind of understand why they would be mad, but the whole like them oh. Black Lives Matter, rah, I'm doing all this extra shit. I'm kind of lost. No, I can understand why people be mad, upset, like kind of slightly like confused at why he's um talking at the campus, but mad I don't understand from what I've seen. Yeah, I, I agree. Mad no, but I could be confused though. If well, you have I any, agree. to me, if you have or if you're upset with Cal did, then you're to me you're a complete idiot. But I'm upset that he went across the state lines just to stand somewhere that a protest was at, like he was a cop. Like, okay, that was a that's wrong. why everybody that's saying, the problem. That like, that's, that's the why problem. he shouldn't be speaking. That okay, that's, that's why everybody reason. having a problem. But whatever happened after the look, attack, he was completely bad. right. Yeah, that, if they didn't touch him, everything would have been good. Oh no, if they didn't touch him, if, everything would been. If they, if they never attacked him and he opened fire, it'd been a totally different situation. And it looked bad. He had an AR. Yeah, it did look bad. I can't lie, it does look bad. But if they didn't touch that man, you know. But if if you're if you're that brain dead to just look at that and then, then say he's just to do all this outrage over this little stuff that he did I just don't think that's you getting the full context of what happened but you know what makes it even more crazier the University of Memphis is right close to everything that's been getting people getting shot by all that stuff like it's right that there in crazy. the heart of everything that's yeah. going on in action yeah, so it's crazy. like that it makes crazy. me more like yeah. I be confused bro yeah hey man I'm confused by a lot of stuff y'all man controversial right wing speaker Kyle Rittenhouse taking the stage at the University of Memphis. But who is allowed inside that event? Well, that's turning into an even bigger ordeal. Thank you for joining us. I'm Joy Redmond. And I'm Joe Birch. Action News 5's Kelly Cook has been looking to get answers today after students learned their tickets were no longer valid. Kelly? Kelly? Well, University of Memphis officials told me if you do not have a ticket, you cannot get inside of the event. That includes the media as well. Mm. But after a last minute uh, email that came out, the, the, a lot of folks who thought they had a ticket found out their tickets have been revoked. Okay, Kelly. That enabled me to check the status of my uh, tickets and uh, turns to find out that um, they've been canceled. University of Memphis sophomore Richard Massey got quite the surprise Wednesday morning regarding his tickets to see Kyle Rittenhouse. U of M chapter of Turning Point USA, a nonprofit that advocates conservative views on college campuses, invited sense, Rittenhouse to Memphis to speak. He received this message from Turning Point saying his tickets were no longer valid and had to sign up again. By the time he tried to request tickets again, it was already sold out changing plans for many students who wanted to ensure Rittenhouse to spoke to, to an to empty say. house. Students on this campus had, of course, demonstrated their concerns through um, purchasing tickets in mass to not show up to this event. It's a, a peaceful protest. Rittenhouse made international headlines in 2020 yeah, after he crossed Move state lines bad. to Wisconsin and shot and killed two people and injured a third at a Black Lives Matter protest. He was found not guilty, claiming self-defense. They put me on trial for defending myself. And sometimes I think, like, what would have happened if they would have killed me? Would they have prosecuted the people who killed me if I would have died? And I don't think they would have. That was Rittenhouse speaking at Eastern Tennessee State University last month. But Turning Point USA says the University of Memphis has, quote, taken unprecedented actions to undermine mm -hmm. our event 
seizing control of seating arrangements and the ticketing system. Massey says protests, however, will continue outside the scheduled event. We're, we're even more moved well, to um, hold um, our university <laughs> accountable to ensure <laughs> that um, as we have done as our four. Because uh, the Cause people they, bought the tickets to actually boycott. watch it. Yeah, yeah, they bought the tickets. No, they so bought the, the people realized that. No, they bought the tickets to boycott it. Yeah. They bought the tickets to not to show up. So, tickets, yeah, so to no make tickets yeah. not available to people who mm -hmm. actually wanted to watch. Yeah. That's why they, I but, guess, did that. But how do they know who? But my question is. That's a great question. question. No, that's a great question. My question is, why would you do that to fund something that you disagree? So you well, just put bread in his pocket, though. They don't want no one to be in there, I guess, when he's doing the speech. Forget all that emotional thinking. You just still put bread in the man's pocket if you hate that man that much. I mean, he's probably already paid from the school. Man, that is actually the like... The are probably going back to the school to reimburse what they paid to get them there. Oh, uh, well... Knowing the store, man, so. that is actually like a difficult one, man. That, that is very controversial. This is it's very extremely controversial. controversial. I'm not going to uh, lie. Y'all know, know how we lean and everything, and I can't even like say... Yeah, I, I, can't, I, don't know I can't co sign on like, this one. Even though, okay, so like in a court of law, he was tried, it was self-defense. Okay, boom, I that's agree. done. But what makes him, you know, such a... I was like, why does... Yeah, I don't, I don't see that. know, man. I, I think it's like... I just like, don't see how that is... Uh, not... Like a school university speaking oh, thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, definitely not. They probably just booked him for... You I, think no, he's part of the reason. NRA? That's probably why. But the real I mean, question is, like, question. why do people, like, love him? And I y'all said it, but, like, that's kind of extreme to think someone that, you know, left their state to go to another state, to go to a protest, to kind of act like he was security. Like, it's that, weird. That's, it's uh, weird. That's man. the wrong I mean, part to me. I mean, but, people pulled up to riot and destroy stuff. He pulled up... To protect it. On the opposite end. So, yeah, I mean, okay. he's just... Is, he's just as in the right to be there. Yeah, as they he are. is. He is, and that's why it's kind of like he it's low he's right even yeah. doing what I he mean, did. I, like, if, if we're gonna really look at it for what it honest, is, like yeah, I understand that they have a right to protest. When you start rioting and destroying shit, there's a problem. He was equally yeah. as allowed to be there as the people who were rioting and yeah. and, and and you know. So that's so, why that step kind of even. I mean, I, I, out, I, he has I, the right to be I there. assume that the outrage is probably that's because I assume that the outrage is probably because like he pulled up to a BLM that is, protest, that is, yeah. which had went bad, and he had came for the intentions of protecting the stuff that they are destroying. I mean, he pulls up with a gun, people are gonna see him and be I don't know adverse to that. Me personally, I'm not gonna charge anyone with a fucking AR. That's just me. I'm I'm going. To opposite direction but we wouldn't be at no protest anyway you know, I can I'm, see just, I'm just saying if i see somebody walking see around it. with an ar-15 yeah. let's, let's think about it in a, in a in a crazy situation like some riot i'm not going towards them or trying to be a hero i'm leaving i'm out of there this shit finna get ugly you know how the black lives matter protest outraged a lot of people that was already on the right before them you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so them seeing that Somebody blood could be boiling in the house looking at them protesters. It's a protest there. I'm going to just make sure they don't tear up anything. And if they tear up anything, I catch me in a straggler. Um, you know? And so some people, well, that might like, be heroic. That's rolling. almost like being that's a vigilante, though. A little bit in a way. Yeah, he is a vigilante. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why it's so controversial, you know? I'm being 100. No, no you're right. Yeah. He's 100%. You know? uh, yeah. He was 100% on some vigilante justice stuff. But he didn't pull up and open fire. He people, didn't go on pe offense pe pe People you know? charged him, and he enacted defense. And yeah, he did. I mean, you 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 attack someone with a gun. It was no, you just gonna, a, He just gave you what you're looking for. Yeah. Like, you think he's just going to let you beat him up? I'm personally... I'm just keeping it 100. If I'm in this situation, I have a, a, a yeah. weapon, and you attack me, you're going to see what that thing going to do. Yeah. <laughs> So in in that sense, I gotta say like he wasn't in the wrong. Yeah, but to yeah. pull See, up—that's not the debate. We're all on the same page with that. The debate is why is he at speaking? colleges? Yeah, you know? oh, what yeah, makes yeah. him That's... smarter uh, than most people? To because I, I feel mean, like I mean, speaking at a college, you have to do something. Or know something. Well, well, they just know. said that the U of M has a chapter of Turning Point USA. He's a Turning Point USA speaker. They booked him through okay. the actual Turning Point USA. They probably have a student chapter of Turning Point USA. So they booked him at universities that had this chapter, uh, a Turning Point USA chapter, which was what do you say, Eastern Tennessee University, and now uh, Memphis. Yeah. I mean, that kind of makes sense to me. I mean, if y'all have a chapter there and like the big, the big organization can get y'all a speaker, that makes sense to me. You know but I definitely I can, see it. I, I, I it's very, see just it. very controversial to it bring is. someone of a controversial nature of this to your university, knowing that there's so much heat that could come. I mean, yeah. the university maybe should have done something. 
to block this. Maybe maybe they could have gave uh, recommendations on sending them to a, new, a thing, neutral though, location. Thing, How you gonna block them? But because in some people, I'm, right. I'm not saying block it. I'm saying but like still. I just said, like they should have just said, go to a neutral location. Like y'all can host this on behalf of the school, but you can't do it on school grounds just due to the the can't gravity of his the controversy. But some yeah. people can say that. that. You can't do that. Some people can say that about the transgender stuff. No, but look, they was doing saying? protests and stuff out in Palestine, and remember the Harvard person said, "Yeah, I mean they can do what they want to do." So they can be on the same thing. So it's kind of like, you know, you got freedom of speech on the campus. Because in some people's eyes, Kyle Rittenhouse did everything right. Well, 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 if that's going to be the argument that they have, that he has a right to be there, then they they have a right to protest him. Controversial arguments like this one. Some people see think that he did all wrong and some people think that he did all right. But the school can definitely uh, say, like, we don't want this controversial figure on our campus (laughs) due to the backlash. They they can't say that that because they they can, bro. The school can decide who's allowed on campus. That's why they were mad at the Harvard. So understand why. That's why they were mad at the Harvard. So the kind of choosing the side. Those are students protesting. He's not a student at the university. If they say, we don't want you to speak at our university, they have a right to do that. Yeah, they do. The university has a right to do that. University was okay with it. Okay, and that to me is where the backlash from the students oh, yeah. is coming from. Why. I'm just saying, oh, yeah, if the yeah, university yeah. would have just been like, look, y'all can have this that's at a crazy. neutral location. How yeah. is that crazy? Because it's, it's other po- it's it organizations been... that's doing the same thing but on the campus. Key, low key, okay. It would, <laughs> it's, okay, but they can if police. They, it, if they do that, it's picking a side because you said, remember, it is a chapter at the university. Okay, and I'm just saying, they could say, y'all can have this at a neutral location. Yeah. But that would be kind of the school campus. The school can Some schools have a bunch of black programs. Some people, you you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I feel like are controversial to, I feel to like this, a school that is has, true. A school has a right to decide. Yeah, but they, they, allow, they, they, decide they would allow a black event okay, going they into school. Like what? Um, I don't know. A Black Lives Matter event. They would allow something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, they on. would. Yeah. They was having that at school. They had signs and all. That's a controversial issue. That's, That's like what I said. Kyle, Kyle, Kyle was stuff. right at the school. I mean, from what we seen, these schools allow free speech. I don't know. But you can't do it. You but can't. That's you with to. the students, though. Yeah. So the students are allowed to engage on, in a university that they paid to go to, of, of course. Yeah, they are. They are. They are. But, but not, to bring in an outside controversial figure onto the university, the university could be like, look, y'all can have y'all event. Yeah. Just not in a school building due but to the, the controversy it may cause with other students. That way you're allowing them to have their event, I get but what you're saying. protecting I get what you're the saying. other students who may disagree by not having it on campus. So that's, boom. That's so, not right. That's fair. That's fair. Hold on. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's not fair. That's not fair. Because you got to let freedom of speech on both sides. That's basically like someone inviting Candace to come and some people don't like her. So then they won't allow her to speak there. They have to go to New that's not fair. Because freedom Cause of speech, the definition like, is allow people you, you, like you don't Candace. like to say things you don't like, and that's what this is. Yeah. yeah. So that's like, there's people like, who, you know, like he said, don't like the BLM stuff, but they allow that. The so students stuff. doing that though. I know, but so they they have have these are students, you know. Oh, I guess yeah. They have but there's students in that chapter at Turning Point who go to that school, so they can be like, you know, we want this here on their side. Mm. Yeah. Wow. No, nah, but I do see what you're saying though. If it's extremely saying, the controversial, look, y'all can still if I'm the president of school, I don't want no problems, I do that, you know. But yeah. that is one of the people that might have caused that type of controversy at the school. So yeah. the school was, you know, it was wrong. definitely gonna cause they might even choose. expect this to you happen. Pick and choose, the but school. then when you get to pick and choosing, some people get more mad, so then it's just like best to do that thing. I mean that's, yeah, that's why it's like I mean, both I, sides have a, a voice on yeah, campus technically. Yeah. But let's let's finish it. It's, it's, it's a couple more clips. Protests, however, will continue outside the scheduled event. We're, we're even more moved to um, hold um, our university accountable to ensure that um, as we have done, as our forefathers in our city have done, to stand up to white supremacy when it comes knocking at our door. He doesn't even know what he's talking about. Now, I what did ask the University of Memphis officials to clarify the why there was sudden right change in the school. ticketing process. They simply said, no comment. Rittenhouse is scheduled to speak at 7 o'clock. Doors That's open so at 610. We're live at the University right. of Memphis. Kelly Cook, Action News 5. What lies? What lies? What lies? What lies? Tell me the lies of Black Lives Matter. Tell me the lie you finna talk about. Go ahead, speak. Man, I was sitting down and I was listening to you. But say it's time, baby. My son. She's a man. Oh, she, she's a crazy shit. This is so controversial. He did not shoot black people. I don't understand what the fuck they're so mad about. I know he good. But don't sit here and talk to me like that. Don't sit here and talk to me like that. Alright, we gotta go. 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 We gotta
I would like to hear him speak just to see what he has to say, man. Like, he says we shouldn't celebrate Juneteenth. We shouldn't celebrate Martin Luther King Day. We should be working those days. It's called Katani Brown Jackson and Affirmative Action Hire. He's telling nonsense about George Floyd. And he said he'd be scared if a black pilot was on a plane. Does that not seem racist? I don't know anything about that. Oh. Then answer no, no, no. Does that seem racist? Is a yes or no question, <laughs> Kyle? After all the things I just told you, would you consider that hate speech? <laughs> I'm not saying that. Deflection! Hey, speech! Deflection! Now you're reaching, Deflection! brother. Deflection! Hey, Deflection! He was talking about Charlie Kirk. I know. That was a reach, though. Yeah! Fuck! Yeah! What was the black person that turned on the ball? No, come! Stay, come! Everyone, please exit through the. Yeah! I don't understand. Hey, what about black guys doing? Like, go, right! <laughs> I really don't I, understand why people defend George Floyd so much. I see the problem. I just, just don't get it. I see the problem with this. I just don't get it. Okay. He ain't no fucking hero. So in America, free speech, you, you know, even though we don't necessarily agree that he should be talking there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can't stop it if you don't agree with it just because, you know, yes. in, in a country, in a, any government, you're not going to agree with everything mm -hmm. and everybody, right? Yeah. So that's like... We can't, just because we don't agree with it, you have to let the speech still have a speech. You know, it's talking. It's not going to hurt you. Yeah. So that's why I think free speech is a big thing. And, and uh, it's just like, it is controversial. No one's Definitely debating that. Not. And no one's all like, we, we don't even think like, what is, you know, I don't know why he's so important to talk, but you have to let him. That's why I was saying, I don't think that it would be fair for them to, you know, make it happen somewhere else, even though it would cause less controversy. Yeah, clearly. Definitely. But if you do it somewhere else, it's like it's kind of censoring that side because you're like you're not allowed to say those things on this campus. Then we'll be a weak country because I mean, yeah, we'll that's be a, a problem. Country. I think that I comes. Think, from I think a, a better answer to what he would have said was like, "Look, man, he's allowed to think what he thinks." Just because he has a different opinion than you, not that big a deal. It's hate and, speech. And, and it's hate know. speech that he said bad things about George Floyd, who was a criminal and had a criminal past and died on fentanyl. But I think Is that, that hate speech. We're looking at the Shut wrongs. Shut the fuck up, man. We're looking at the wrongs because of what we've been taught, you know? I think that's why these people are out there because of the victim mentality people are taught and they're being soft about a certain situation. Right? I wouldn't I mean, call it I mean, it's just going with the... Not, when, you, not, but, when everybody around you thinks one way, it's contagious. You're going to think that way. Before, at the, at the beginning though. of this video, I literally thought, okay, he was wrong for doing this. But low-key, he was not wrong for I don't, I don't traveling. Know. He was not wrong for traveling and going somewhere. Because, I, I, I mean, that was just... It's the, a right. You know? I mean, I, he has I, a right. He was in the right. Clearly, he was in the right. It's a, yeah. If Even though I think in black and white laws... Liberal Under the law. Under the law, you know, yeah, he didn't do nothing. He didn't, yeah, he didn't do anything wrong. I and he was and in that's as simple as it is. This per is what it is. Per personally, I don't really think uh, the students handled this that great. They, no, they I think did. there maybe should have been some form of security in there to keep the order in peace because it, it seems like a lot of people came in there just to be they disruptive. They did. If you don't like it, just don't let, go. Let me tell you how crazy this is, though. But like, it, just it, don't it go. A, it, it could be a rapper pull up that they maybe then shot three people in your own community mm -hmm. and then it's, they will be yeah. praised. <laughs> yeah, they would, literally. And, no, they, and then if he fast. went to jail for doing that, they would literally scream free him on Twitter. And then this man Everywhere. didn't even kill nobody in your community or a black person. And y'all still upset about that's this. that's the problem supremacy. though. You see, they you can't pick and choose who you're gonna be outraged <laughs> no, about. Actually, like if you're if you're a real social justice warrior like Martin Luther King, whatever, then you gonna be mad about you know a lot of things. Nah, but you bro, can't select. This is bad, bro. This yeah, is, this is actually a problem. If, but it, it's contradicting. It's very contradicting. It's very contradicting. It's sick. It's sick. It's sick. Because they're mad at this dude, but yeah, you're right. It's like sick. have these people probably you know screaming <laughs> free all these people. Oh, right. Robert pulled up and said he didn't shot kill seven people i just i don't know man. I, I, I don't really understand <laughs> i don't really understand Tell why them I everyone's did, so man. mad <laughs> you know it, i really don't understand why like if y'all if y'all think it's that big a deal just don't go I, 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 I yeah like come on bro but like, i feel like seriously. you really have to understand like you really got to think about free speech and what that means and you got to let things ride things have to be said on the other side to keep so both sides have a voice even though if you don't like what they're saying you know it's not gonna yeah. hurt you but that you you have to let them say what they're gonna say just because yeah. you know both sides obviously don't agree let's let the let rest of this clip ride out Okay. Damn, I can't 
can't believe they have us like this, bro. This is kind of like hard to watch. If a bunch of white people were doing this because a BLM thing happened, the whole world would be freaking it's sick. out. Bro. It's sick. They brought the band out? They brought the band. They brought the instruments. They brought the pride flag. It's crazy that I actually have this perspective now, man. This, this is like insane to me. It's like really. You know what makes is it really, is it really that serious? It, though? it hurts my heart. Oh, in some their mind, it is though. Everybody trying to fight for uh, white supremacy, right? Fight against the yeah. Why is nobody fighting real against the true white supremacy? Is when there's two black people killing each other in the hood right now, or selling somebody fentanyl across the street? Because it's the white man's fault they're doing that time. Yeah, yeah. That's it's crazy, just so many bro. It's just, it just fucks me up so bad, bro. I I rather you know. And some people, that's what I'm saying, bro. Some people so gone. I bet they blaming fentanyl on the white man. They don't no, even know they voting for it. that. It, it's it's just, I think it's just so man. easy to do for for you know black people because that's what everybody else is doing. That's what their family, that's what their friends are doing. Mm-hmm. So f- to go a different way, you really have to have a, a lot of spine and think for yourself. Yeah, because like like saying that he actually did something wrong in the situation is basically saying you don't agree with the Constitution. Yeah. So then you don't want to be here, and we know these people don't. You know, some of these but people. I yeah I hold lot bro. These BLM rides. But then this is a nice school. This is a nice it's area. Nice bro. Let's be real. Like this is insane, bro. But I mean, I can't say it shouldn't happen because that's also free speech. But well, is it once you start tearing stuff up, then you're called, you're not speaking anymore. Only problem I see is like once you destroy all them buildings, you just made all all the people around there, your property, all that just go down. You just made yeah. your assets. Around yeah. your area go down, so yeah, you're hurting, just you destroy destroy your your you're yeah. hurting your community worse, and then they're gonna say systemic racism. Yeah, that's the, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like when we do all like black people do all the wrongs in the community, and then we still point the finger. That's why, and then, I, just, but I, and then you can't tell them like if somebody any of these people about these BLM rights, this and that, they talk about you know this and that. We'll do okay, but okay. Well, can you give me an example of another country whose government, whose system is working better right now? That's why I said this looks like a nice area. And I don't area. know who, who would they, stupid. like, what country would they say, you know? I'm not saying nice area. They Probably might not say a China. nice area, but the school China. looks nice. They might say they China. Might say China. They, might say well, say they don't know nothing. Then. They might say Because they got China. 12-year-olds making iPhones over there. So clearly, <laughs> then, you know, that ain't, that's, that's oppression, I would say. Hey, you know. You know, but I definitely do, like. If if you're fully on the liberal side, guys, Kyle did all, all the things that's wrong. Probably not to us. Even if we were liberal at the time I heard the story, we was like, we probably heard it. Oh, it was two pedals. Uh, we probably say like, he might have been right. But even like him crossing and going over to the uh, state line to do that, we would definitely say nah. that was overly wrong. But now we think like, I mean, you know, in the Constitution, I, I was right. You I know, don't based on law, I don't understand why everyone's so mad. Like he didn't shoot black people. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't harm any black people. Because like, he, so he got off. He got off at white supremacy. Like why are they in there yelling he black? Got off why are so they in there screaming? He's a white supremacist. They treat him like George Zimmerman. Yeah, yeah, he's a white he supremacist harm, he and killed harm, white He person. didn't harm any black people. He didn't. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just kind of That's lost. why it's overly like. Is it because it's he shot too three far white gone. people at a Black Lives Matter rally? There's Is yeah, that why? Yeah, that's why. That's, that's why, why, bro. So yeah. that means they was trying to shoot black of uh, the black black people. But he didn't shoot any black people. Yeah, that's that's people um feelings right there. He he shot at the Black Lives Matter protest. So that means shot three white people at a Black Lives. They probably Matter don't know protest. that. They probably don't. They probably like just know three See, people got died at a Black Lives Matter my, protest. <laughs> my, emotion, my emotion is telling me the first step that he made was wrong, but logically, it's not. No, I, you gotta I think about how much. Like, no, you gotta look up how much. How you gotta think about how much emotion is going on at a Black Lives Matter protest. But that was a know? crazy time, bro. That All was COVID, George or, Floyd time. Or they're doing that it was one of the crazy. That was probably like one of the most dividing times in. Houston. Our lifetime. Oh, absolutely. It's bigger than in the like U.S. in our lifetime. We made this video so extra long, guys. Yeah, because we didn't know anything about this, man. Maybe we do some more research on Kyle. I, I mean, yeah, guys. Let us know what y'all think about this.